Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dakota and it is so good to see you. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you decide to stay and subscribe to become a part of the Dakota Army. Today, I figured I would film an everyday kind of simple makeup tutorial um, because it's been a year since I filmed my last, you know, like everyday kind of my everyday makeup routine and I figured you know some shit been updated I figured I'd <laughs> update y'all as well if you want to see how I created this look and know how to do your makeup similar to me then keep on watching bear with me um I didn't know what kind of look I was going for today but I figured it out and now I'm gonna teach you I always get asked like different questions like how I do my eyeshadow, how to do eyeshadow, how to get rid of under eye bags, what products work best. I figured I would sit down and show you guys step by step how I do my everyday makeup routine. This look is so versatile. You can wear it literally to a red carpet event. If anyone's going to red carpet events, let me know because I will do your makeup for you. You can dress it up as much as you want and you can also wear it as casually as you want as well this is figuratively how i do my makeup in general <laughs> i filmed a video like this last year but this is my updated version because i've learned some new skills and whatnot my eyeshadow for today is going to be this venus extra large two palette i think that's what it's called <laughs> it's this really cute palette and it's a lot of like earth tone shades and i'm just gonna jump right into the shade sage here on this like smaller tapered brush and just pack that on the outside of my eye and just focus that mostly on that part right there and getting that buffed into the corner of my eye and you can do this with any shade you can do you can use browns reds purples any color you just want to go with like the darkest shade um and just pack that on the outside of the of your eyelid and kind of bring it inward so once i have it the dark base basically packed on i'm gonna go in with the shade Obs obscure and I'm just going to blend out that group, like darker green with this lighter green to give it more of a, I guess like a fairy kind of look. You can use like any highlight shade really and just blend it out, blend out your darker shade with that, the fluffier brush. Next I'm going in with a smaller blending brush, it's more defined. This is a packing brush, I think, like this is more of a... A smaller bristled smaller bristled i don't know okay so i'm gonna go in with just a little bit of classical just an itty bitty bit i'm just gonna pack that on the outside of my eyelid right here like i said i'm gonna focus them dark shades on the outside of my eyelid this really defines the shape of your eyelid and everyone has different eyelid space and shape so make sure you can feel the bone and just try to pack all that shadow into that like socket right there <laughs> if that makes any sense next get your fluffy brush and blend all of that together again once you have it as blended as much as you want it to be Go in with a little packing brush like so, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Ivy here. I'm just gonna pack that onto my eyelid. Like this is so easy, like you don't need to use any concealer. To, like if you want to, you can, like you can cut your crease, but um, honestly, I don't think that's necessary with looks like this, cause it's like, it just blends all together and then i'm gonna go in with the shade myth here it's like a metallic silver green i don't know and i'm just gonna add that on top and get it as shimmery and as bright as you want it
going back in with this smaller blending brush, the one we used first, I'm just gonna blend that darker shade back out. And I think I'm gonna actually add some ripe because I forgot I added that in the first. I forgot I added that on the other eye. I'm just darkening it up, blend it out a little bit. There you have it, a very simple eyeshadow look. I know it's not the best, but I never signed up to be the best, okay? I just automatically got that title. Bro, you know I love it when you shake it in them jeans. Okay, I'll shut up. So now that I have eyeshadow done, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly moisturize my face. And to moisturize my face, I use this face milk by 4th Ray Beauty. This is in turmeric. Wow, my brightness is so bad. Get it all over. You know, you want to have a really smooth, moisturized base. One thing I highly recommend when doing your makeup is having really clean skin and moisturized skin. So, like, just know that you can never over moisturize. Use your oils, use whatever you can. And then, you know, when you apply your product, just make sure you're blending it out good and then setting it with a, like a translucent powder or a powder foundation so make sure whenever you like have a like a liquid base you always add a powder because later on those like oils will naturally come out and make your skin look so dewy and good but like if you don't set it it's just gonna look an oily mess um just a pro tip if anyone gets what i'm saying <laughs> I'm gonna take a concealer and for concealer today i'm gonna use this elf hydrating camo concealer which guys the like, highlighting one's so much better than like the other one um and i'm just gonna put a little dot underneath of my eyes where my bags are and this is a really good tip for anyone who struggles with their under eyes because like mine can tend to get really dark I got this tip from a TikTok. I'll just play it right here. Once you have the concealer on, don't touch it, don't blend it, leave it alone for two minutes and then apply your foundation. She said to just leave it and let it dry, but what I like to do is just get a little small concealer brush and blend it out around the edges. Just get it into the split, like the places that you want to be hot, like highlighted really like Cover your bag, basically. Cover your bag. Get it, like, halfway blended, you know? Get it to where it covers the whole thing and it kind of looks blended, but then stop. Get it, like, seamless, but then stop. And just leave it like that. So it's, like, blended, but it's not fully blended. So I let that dry, and then once it dries, fuck. I always do this. I forget to add my primer before I do that. God damn it. Usually I add primer before I do this, but I always tend to forget, but I'm going to use the e.l.f. the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and just put that on my nose and like my forehead and the places that will still be covered by it. I can't wear my nose ring to work, so I had to constantly take it out and like the more I take it out, the more irritated it gets, like every time I have to put it back in. So like I have to be really gentle with my nose. My nose? Where am I from? So the girl says to wait like two minutes, but I never wait two minutes because I'm a lazy bitch. I don't like to wait. And I'm just going to go back in with my Fenty foundation. And I'm literally going to put the smallest pump on the back of my hand. Just add little dots all over my face. Like this. But not on my nose. If you have any pimples, cover them up. Put them on your mustache area, on your forehead. Oh, 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 oh. Put it on your shitty ass personality. Cover everything, boo, yes. And then look, go in with my spongy sponge, my little sponge, my dirty ass sponge. I like to use less product while like packing it on because Honestly, I just learned that like less is better when working with makeup on my skin, especially when I want it to last 
all day and look good all day because it gives me the most flawless effect on my skin and if you want an even more flawless base use a brush Fine shit. I'm gonna spray my face with some setting spray because this foundation dried way too quick. <laughs> Every time I always breathe it in. This will just bring some hydration to your face. Why? I have like dots of where I put the foundation. Fenty. Fenty boom, Fenty. It's not Fenty's fault, it's my fault, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I try so hard and go so far, but in the end, it got me in the ass. Don't come to me to steal men because I'm not the chick. I'm not the chick. If you come in here to catfish, if you come in here to learn how to steal somebody's man, um, I'm not the person. I don't steal men. Um, men are donated to me for science, for science, for scientific purposes. Okay, so I think my foundation is as blended out as I'm gonna get it at two in the motherfucking morning. So let's just go on with concealer, y'all. See, like, my under eye bags look like I already concealed them, but we haven't even gotten that far, sis. So, I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy tool. This bitch got me through so much shit in life. Um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I don't know what it's called. I, it's been, like, six years since I've used this product, and I still don't know her name. But the Maybelline Instant Rewind. I'm gonna show you y'all how this works. So, you twist this little nipple here, and you're just gonna brush it on your face and you can't really see i don't know if you can see it actually it looks like peanut butter a little bit underneath of my eye because um this one is like literally like spot on to my skin it's perfect this really gives me the like full coverage that i need so i use a lot of fucking makeup and i just this is the first application as you can see, you know, you can see that line right there. Really snatches the face, really does that. But I'm not done. We're not finished. We're not done yet. My e.l.f. camo concealer here. And I'm going to go back in and I'm going to just add a little dot. A little dot. A little dot. Like that. So I'm going to go back in with my dirty ass sponge here. Y'all, please. Don't be like me. Clean your brushes. Clean your sponges. Get new ones. Please. I don't want people to think I'm dirty and don't have clean, like, utensils. It's just like, it's been a crazy ass month. Don't judge me, okay? Or not. I'm gonna quit my job and y'all not gonna have somebody to stock your groceries. Actually, unemployment looking real good right now. Now my face is pretty much set. I. By the way, I just blended out concealer and I set it with some translucent powder. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Fit Me one, and you can literally find all of this at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, guys. Except for the eyeshadow palette, that shit is expensive. So just go buy any kind of eyeshadow palette and do your thing. I am now gonna take it upon myself to contour, and to contour, I'm really lazy. <laughs> And it's nothing but the truth. I'm a lazy gal. I don't like to spend more than like five minutes doing something. So to contour, <laughs> I'm only like, to, I narrowed it down to one product and one product only. Um, and it's this butter bronzer by Ben, like, Physicians Formula. Right here. And just bronze my face up, make myself look like I have cheekbones, even though I clearly do not. But make your face look a little bit tanner, but not too tan to the point where you looking like a different race, bitch. That shit ain't cute. If you white, stay white. There's nothing wrong with your skin. Stay the complexion that you are. Stop trying to be a different motherfucking race and then denying it, bitch. You look stupid. 
put the fake tan down. Like, like, look, I'm all one for like, go and get some plastic surgery, girl. Go and get, get do all that. Get like, do whatever you fucking want with your body. Do whatever. But when like, like fake tans to me, like I never just truly understood them. Like, if you enjoy fake tanning, you do you. But like, truly, like. If you go fake tan and then disrespect darker skinned complexion girls, then fuck off. You a dumb fighter ass bitch. And I said what I said. And I said what I said. I'm gonna go in with this itty bitty Rocketeer blush from Benefit. You can go in with any blush. And yes, blush is essential, bitch. If you ain't putting blush on your motherfucking cheeks, then what the fuck is you doing? Funny story, not funny at all, actually. Um, I was working one day and I work at like a gas station slash deli slash convenience store. And I had this customer come up to me and I had to make him a coffee or like I was helping him make a coffee or something like that. And he had complimented my makeup. But then he had asked me like, oh, like, do you know why women wear blush? And I was like, no, fill me in. Like he was an older guy and he was like, well, apparently like women wear blush because when they are experiencing an orgasm, they their face tends to like get all red and they blush. And that's why women wear blush to attract men so that they know that they like to blush, that they're very sexual and shit like that. A customer told me this shit while I was on the clock, while I was working. And you know what I did? I just went, have a good day. <sighs> fuck out of here like you know i really don't like to like talk about the experiences i had at work or have at work because i mean i don't want to make my company or anything like that i don't want to make my the business i work for look bad but like it's not really making the business look bad it's just really making people look bad because y'all are some some people just be disgusting and it's always old ass men like truly disgusting i can't tell you how many like especially when i was like 18 19 and i would like at, the, at my job i would have literally like old ancient historic ass men hitting on me and i would be very apparently young like i was like literally like just fresh freshly you know like legal and guys just fucking eat that shit up and it's disgusting because like you know like if you look young and they don't care about the fact that you look young. Like, imagine what they think about age. What? This is supposed to be a tutorial and I'm over here talking about real life facts. <laughs> so I blush my cheeks and y'all, like I said, blush is essential not to please men, but to please yourself. Cause like, look how like, it just brings like flavor. It brings like that extra pizzazz, like, you know, like, it brings that extra sauce. Like, you know, when you made some like, you know, like delicious as rice and gandoles, you know, I'm over here speaking like I know Spanish, I don't, okay? But like, you know, when you make some delicious ass food and you're like, oh, something's missing, just one little ingredient is missing, what is it, what is it? And then you add some hot sauce and it just blends in, everything's perfect, you just found God. Um, that is what blush does to your makeup routine, so bitches be using it, okay? Use it. For highlight today, it's only fair if I go in with my favorite in the whole entire world highlighter. And it's from Mr. Bremen Rock and Morphe, the Babe in Paradise palette. And I use this literally all the time. If you've seen any of my other makeup tutorials, then you know. This is the shade. I'm gonna go in the shade Vagation. Add that. Add that. Ah. Oh. Y'all don't have to do this shit. You really don't. But if you wanna get like me, you have to. So I'm gonna go back in with this big ass palette. You can go back in with your palette that you chose. And what I'm gonna need you to do, find yourself a little brush like this, something that you could add a bright pigment into it. Add a bright shade, like a white or whatnot, to your inner corner.
corner and this really just makes your eyes pop i mean maybe it doesn't maybe it just makes me look um more showed but you know what it's good to pretend like you know what you're talking about do i look more awake does it look like it's not two in the morning right now blend down to your neck bitch make sure you blend your neck bitch i'm gonna put some mascara on and for mascara i'm using this blown out one and by makeup revolution it has weed in it i am affiliated with this brand they do send me pr but i do not get paid to promote these products so trust me believe me when i say everything i say about this brand is 100 percent truthful i'm gonna be using the lash in the style von bon really cute so basically i'm gonna try to show y'all how i do my lashes this might not work so good what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna see how much like i need to trim off it's usually just like a couple little centimeters so it's always just a little bit honestly my preferred eyelash glue that i use is the duo quick set strip lash adhesive in white clear and y'all this is my favorite of all time lash glue my lashes wanted to give me a hard ass goddamn time but i finally have them applied and y'all i'm obsessed like i literally think i found my favorite pair of lashes i'm gonna go ahead and just add some lip gloss and my favorite lip gloss personally is this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Very Good. I would recommend uh, wiping my lip first, but since I got nowhere to go and I'm probably just gonna take this off as soon as I finish this video and get some pictures. Y'all gonna have to. Bear with me. I feel like such a housewife. Yo, it smells like Lucky Charms. I am literally in love with this lip gloss. I'm gonna set my face and I'm gonna use this Rimmel London Stay Matte Setting Spray. Just random setting spray. And I'm gonna let that dry. I have this little <laughs> tin foil fan. It was just a pizza box. So that turned into a motherfucking thing. This is it for today's video. I know it's a little bit all over the place, much like my other ones, but it just felt good to film something. And I've been procrastinating this video for so long and I finally filmed it, so. Thank God. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you want more like detailed tutorials like this, then please leave a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section because I got y'all. Make sure you guys check me out on all of my social media accounts. I've been trying to stay more active on there, on different platforms. You can add me on Twitter, you can add me on Snapchat, you can add me on Instagram, and you can add me on TikTok and Facebook. Check me out on my other social media platforms to stay in tune with what I'm doing and what is to come in the near future for my channel. Thank you guys so much for being so supportive and so patient with me all the time. It's really, really like appreciated. <laughs> and I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in with me for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Make sure you subscribe to become a part of the Dakodak Army. We are small, but we are growing and we're never stopping, bitch.